crypto, the notion that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is quitting, has swept Twitter. John Deaton, an attorney who is in favor of excerpt, the legal squabble between the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC of the United States and Ripple Labs has piqued the interest of the cryptocurrency community. With the SEC recently launching an interlocutory appeal, there's been a lot of debate over whether the XRP coin is a security. On August 9, the SEC addressed Judge Annalisa Torres, indicating its desire to reconsider the court's decision. During the appeals process, the regulatory authority requested a temporary stop to the case. This decision raised various issues, most notably concerning the SEC's intentions regarding XRP's non-security classification, Nonetheless, members of the legal crypto community have attempted to allay any fear. According to crypto lawyer Jeremy Hogan, the sex appeal and excerpt security classification are separate issues. A successful sex appeal, according to Hogan, would prevent Ripple from enabling sales on exchanges. However, he noted that this does not exclude other exchanges from offering excerpt as long as Ripple is not the seller. Cointelegraph spoke with Oscar Franklin Tan, chief legal officer of the non-fungible token, NFT, platform engine to help decipher some of the complexity of the sex decision. He clarified the nature of interlocutory appeals, which are often sought before the completion of a case. Tan demonstrated the importance of momentum in such appeals. If the appeal is successful, the prevailing side will acquire an advantage in the original lawsuit. While Hogan believes the appeal will not question Exerps' non-security status and believes otherwise, he believes the SEC is still trying to overturn Judge Torr's prior decision, which declared Exerp a non-security a non-security under certain instances, and shed information on the SEC's tactics by using the Terraform Labs case conclusion as leverage against the court in the Ripple case. He speculated that the SEC is implying that a higher court should intervene to reconcile different rulings Tan's viewpoint, however, remained critical of the sex's actions. Instead of racing to court, he believes the sex should have issued clearer instructions and feels that, with Ripple and other organizations seeking clarification from the courts, the usual legal procedure should proceed without intervention. In the midst of these legal swains, Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderodi, has warned the community to be on the lookout for Ripple's impending judicial response. The lawsuit has been the basis for the outrage and extra pump and dump activities. John Deaton, a prominent crypto lawyer, has commented on the SEC's decision to file an appeal in the CRCLP. He indicates that the SEC plans to appeal a portion of the court's ruling even before the primary issue is resolved. This may give the SEC a boost, but according to Deaton, it doesn't guarantee victory. Deaton said the judge might accept such an early challenge in his ex post. In such case, the judge may provide a more thorough justification for her ruling, making it more difficult to appeal. According to Deaton, the court may use this as an opportunity to address concerns voiced by a different judge. Regarding his personal participation, Deaton is holding off until he hears from Ripple, the firm behind Exeter. He's concerned that his contribution will not advance the argument in any meaningful way. According to Deaton's analysis, the sexist appeal might be a good idea but it's not a sure thing. This procedure has the potential to strengthen the judge's ruling and provide clarity on any lingering legal concerns. It remains to be seen how things develop. The court's latest target date for a jury trial is the second quarter of 2024. Given the suddenness of their statement, the SEC may have missed the deadline for filing the interlocutory appeal this week. As the new year of speculation began, extra prices increased by 66 cents before the market started while Ether and Cardano continued to struggle to reach a new all-time high, AF, owing to their legal status. The implications of the ruling suggest that any cryptocurrency might be a security depending on whether it is being sold in an institutional setting or on the secondary market. However, this might work in XRP's favor by giving it a chance to consolidate its market position after a little respite from the heat. Gemini portrayed XRP's victory against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, in a fight film that accompanied the tweet, Gary Gensler, head of the SEC, was shown there with the words Earth is a security. In reaction to the SEC chairman's claimed Earth is a securities postulation, Gemini represented XRP moving to the moon. The XRP community, and especially notable pro-XRP, attorney Bill Morgan, 
took notice of Gemini's entertaining film. Morgan seems thrilled by the caricature of the U.S. watchdog and its chairman. Remember that Gemini's co-founders Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss criticized the sex regulatory approach in comments on the judgment, declaring XRPA non-security? In January, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Gemini because of its troubled earn product. Gemini also announced its support for the XRP. Ledger. XRPL. Blockchain in the official blog post announcing the listing. With this integration, XRP may be traded using its Epifix mobile apps, and website. The exchange also made it clear that although traders may store XRP on the exchange app, XRP support for its custody solution is still in the works and will be released at a later date. Notable among the fiat currencies accepted here include the US dollar, Canadian dollar, British pound, euro, Hong Kong dollar, Australian dollar, and more. Gemini's current decision adds it to the exclusive group of US-based exchanges that have reinstated XRP support in the wake of the recent legal triumph. Since a US court ruled that XRP is not a security, the SEC has taken further action to reverse that ruling. An important court judgment was issued in July, and the US Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has taken a major step forward by filing an appeal. The SEC's legal battle with Ripple Labs resulted in this historic judgment which held that the sale of excerpt to ordinary investors did not constitute the offering of a security. This new information was sent to the sitting judge, Anlesa Torres, in a letter just yesterday. Apparently, the sex believes that the significance of her ruling requires a further review by an appeal court. According to the sex submission, interlocutory review is needed here. The intra-district gap that has already emerged shows that these two problems concern controlling matters of law on which there is significant room for differences of opinion. The Sikh wants to have the court's ruling certified that the defendants' programmatic offers and sales of excerpt to purchasers on crypto asset trading platforms and Ripple's other distributions in compensation for labor and services did not entail the offer or sale of securities under the federal securities law. The Honorable Judge Annalisa had laid out her plans in great detail behind the walls of the U.S. Southern District Court. As part of these preparations, a trial was set aside specifically for investigating novel concerns that had not been addressed in the preceding arguments for summary judgment. The second quarter of 2024 has been tentatively chosen as the time frame for this study. The SEX has provided a detailed schedule in its official filing that will be used to guide it through the complex proceedings. A week after the submission of the aforementioned letter, on August 16, 2023, Ripple will have to respond. The next stages, which the SEC says should be carefully orchestrated, will be as follows. The 18th of August will see the filing of an opening brief explaining the rationale for the appeal. As a result, Ripple will need to come up with a response in the next two weeks. If the court approves of this well-choreographed legal pass to Troy, the SEC, which is at the head of this legal dance, will respond in kind within a week. Crucially, the scope of the U.S. Sex's appeal has been clearly defined. The agency's challenge to exercise designation as a security is narrower and more sophisticated than the larger objection that has been raised thus far. In particular, the government is appealing the ramifications of the token's programmatic and individual sales, but not the larger categorization judgment. Since the SEC does not yet have the right to appeal, it is requesting leave to initiate a interlocutory appeal. Next week, Ripple will submit a response to the court.